let's go. Okay, so uh, this is how we're going to import images into Cinema 4D and model them. So you can do this with blueprints. Well, I guess you're going to see how it works with this bottle. Um, I'm going to I do this before. Oh, yeah. So middle mouse button click or, you know, click on this thing to get your four way view. You want to go to the one that says front, right? So this one says front. I'm going to click on this one. Now we have to go to, I think it's view. I remember when I see it. It's options. I think it's configure. Ah, that was it. All right. So it was options and then you go to configure. Now what we do is we click on the word back right here and then you go to the word um, image and then there's the three dots, right? So you click on this and then you have to find um, that picture that you downloaded. Uh, the one I chose looks like it was a web page. Oh, look, now everything's going slow. So get that out of there. Yeah, I accidentally chose a, a um, I thought I chose a picture. So let me go get my another Hennessy picture. And remember, I'm going to, um, well, I guess I'll show you all. And you share. That's the right one. Okay. No, it wouldn't let me share that screen. Okay, yeah, so you what you want to do is you want to go to always go to tools, size, large, and get the largest one you can get. What is this? Hennessy bottle. Yeah, there goes the spelling mistakes. Yeah, we'll just do this one, right? So I'll right click, I'll save the image, make sure, uh, damn, it's another uh, web file. Um. Some of these web files. Uh, we're gonna get a good one. Um, this one is this a web file? What? Some of these web files. Um, it's embarrassing. Um, all right, JPEG. Henny, we typed in Henny. All right, cool. We're gonna um, stop this screen share. I'll go back to cinema share. Okay. So now that I typed in uh, then Henny. So once again, we clicked on the uh, the four way view. We went to the one that said front. You go to options and configure. Configure brings up this right here. You want to go to the one that says back. You click on the three dots. The three dots in cinema means file. I go choose my Henny. And now it's in here, right? Yeah, right, it's in there. So now I'm gonna drag this up to just be on the floor. Doesn't matter, I just like it above the, uh, you know, the zero line, just because I don't really like to model below that. It makes me feel funny. Um, so yeah, we have this in here. Uh, we're going to be modeling on this, but another thing to note is this transparency. If we want this to be transparent, if it starts becoming too bold or whatever, or hard to see our shapes, we can mess with this. So I just put on 60 just because. Now, we, of course, we can't see it in this viewport because it's only available in that front viewport. Right. And what that front viewport is, is if we look at this arrow shooting to the right, it's basically that picture is right here, but it's invisible. And what do I mean by that? I'll show you. So I'm gonna click on this. We're gonna go to cylinder, all right? Now my cylinder, and as you can see, it's in front of the picture. I raise it up, it's there. If I move it to the right, so it's like that picture's there, but it's not there. 
So it's like a guide for us to work off of. So let's start it off, right? Now, to me, it still looks a little bit too bright for me. So I'm gonna go to display, I mean, options, configure. So I'm clicking this to go back here and I'm going to just change it to something that's a little bit better for me. Okay. Um, like we were talking about before, having things be the base shape. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this right here so I get the dots, all right? And then I'm going to, to uh, drag this out. Now here's something very important. I can do this in this mode and drag this out and it makes total sense, right? The reason it makes sense is because it's a, um, a uh, it's, it's, it's still on its default shape, right? So it's not gonna flatten it. So when I scale this, it expands and it does it uniformly, right? But if I was to do something like this, so let's uh, copy this. Um, you know, I'll just control click. Now here's the thing, right? If I was to press C to make this thing editable, and then I press R, right? Watch this, right? So if I drag this, and I, I'll choose this one, and I drag this, you would think those, those are the same thing. But look at what happens, right? That one flattens out. So what happens is, is once you edit it, so what happens is, is once you edit it, it'll stretch it this way. But in this mode, these uniformly scale it. And that's important for later on. Anyway, let's jump into this still. Does that make sense? Or if you all have any questions, go ahead and ask. I just heard something, so I figured I'd ask. Um, oh yeah, so I probably, I just wanna get it to about right here. Well, let me press E to move. I just want it to be about right here for now. Now I'm also gonna look at this and I'm gonna say, you know, this is supposed to be a bottle. They're not, there's not enough resolution. Resolution, yeah, resolution means edges. So I'll click on this again. I'll go to my, not my coordinates, but my object. Rotation segments, right now it says 16. Let's double that up, 32. It's rounder. You know, I'll just keep it like this, keep it on 32. Um, when it comes to these segments, I don't need too many. I'll just keep it like this at two for now, All right? So it was like this. I don't know if you all can see my bottle well. So I had five seconds before. I'm just gonna keep, yeah, let's keep it on two. All right, so I'm gonna flatten this just a touch more. Keep it right here. You know what? Let's just keep it on no segments and we'll model like this. So this is what we have right here, right? This is what it is. Now we're gonna start the fun part. Let's start modeling. So I'm gonna press uh, C to make it editable, all right? Then I'm gonna go over here. Well, I can go to my live selection. I mean, I can go to the circle selection or I can go to uh, my rectangle. But the main thing is I just want the top parts. So speaking of that, there's two ways to get it. I can click on here on the rectangle and I can grab all those top faces and I can manipulate it like this, or I can press nine, get my circle tool. I mean, my uh, selection or whatever it's called. It's called arrow tool. And then I can get it that way. So you can do that two different ways. In this view, uh, it would make more sense to use rectangle, right? So now I'm here. Now that we're rectangle, if I press T for scale, Look what it's doing, scaling out like that, which is what it's doing here, it's scaling out. Now, the reason I mentioned that is the other thing earlier is because of this. Let's say I wanna raise this up, so I'm gonna press uh, uh, E to move it. I'll drag it up like this. And also something to note, I just pressed Alt and right click and it'll rotate sometimes. I don't know if there's a way to lock that. Um, 
let's see, just to see. Is there a way to lock this? I don't think there is, but just seeing. Personally, I don't like the way it moves, but um, yeah, I just kind of like like it to be straighter, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just one thing to know. So let's say I want to scale this out to make it match this. If you can see, I just scaled it to make it match this right here, right? Now, because I just clicked and I scaled, it uniformly scales, right? But if I do Control C, Control V, so I just hid one of these, I just duplicated one. So this one's hidden, now I'm gonna work on this. Now, let's say I wanted to, uh, this one, let's say it was down here, and I wanted to scale it up. That was the, the way I did it before is the right way. But a lot of you all are gonna do this. You're gonna pull it up and you're gonna press T, and you're gonna scale with this right here. And it's gonna look correct in this view, right? In this view, it's gonna look correct, but in this view, it's gonna flatten it out. So that's just something to keep in mind. You wanna uniformly scale, just click and drag. You get the whole thing. But if you start dragging like this in, the, in this viewport, thinking you're doing that, you're actually like flattening it. All right, so that being said, let, I'll just model it out now. So I'll drag it out, I'm pressing E, drag it. T for scale, dragging it out like this. Beautiful, right? So now I wanna make something else. So I'm gonna right click, go to extrude, right? I went to extrude, now I'm clicking and dragging. Eh, about right here, what I can do is I can uh, scale it in. So let's see which one that is. I can, well, there's two ways to do it. If I'm messing with these controls, I can scale it this way. I think it might be offset. Oh, no, it's not offset. No, it's not this either. Okay. Um, so it's looking like I scale this. Ooh. Sorry, let me go back and do this again. I'll press nine to quit. I'm dragging this up. I'm pressing T to scale it out. Now I'm gonna right click and do an extrude. I'm gonna click and drag up. Now after I click and drag up, I'm gonna press uh, T for scale, right? And I'm pressing T and clicking and dragging. Now what's that doing? You see that's tapering it in. It's a little hard to see, but you can kind of see it. There's my geometry. It's a little bit high, so I'm just gonna bring it like this. Press T for scale, scale it in. Um, now I am going to extrude it again. So I'm gonna right click, extrude, drag it up. Oh, wait, wait, right click extrude. I meant click and drag, sorry. Is that my, uh, click and drag up. Now I'm press T, scale in. Right click, extrude, click, drag, drags up, T, click, scale in. Right click, extrude, click, drag up, T, scale in. So you see the pattern? Right click, extrude, click, drag up, T, click, scale in. This is just like how it is in Maya. Mm -hmm. But it's just a little bit different. Well, you know what? There's a G in Maya to repeat. I f I'll be honest. I forgot what it was in here. It's just a Google search away. I just uh, can't remember. You know, I'll just might as well look right now. Repeat. Ooh. Something similar. I mean, something easy into that. 
it, it is just like you're just pressing right click instead of G for this one though. Yeah, but I think there is a uh, maybe space bar. Space bar? No, wait, let me click on this. This was saying space bar. Yeah. I guess it's something I'll look up. I feel like there is another repeat tool. I think it's up here. Oh, no, that's the last one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but it's basically the same thing. It's just different uh, way to work it. So right click, extrude, click, drag, T, click, scale in. Right click, extrude, click, drag, T, scale in. So that's the pattern. Right, ooh, right click, extrude, click, drag, T, click, scale in. Uh oh, we're almost there, y'all. Almost to the finish line. Uh, oh, see, look, almost forgot. But it's right click, extrude, click, drag up, T, scale in. Now we're at this part right here. It's getting interesting. Right click, extrude, click, scale up, T, click, like that. Right click, extrude, scale up, T, this. We're almost at the finish line. Right click, extrude, click. Oh, look, look, I could click and drag, or I could just drag this arrow, right? Drag up. Uh, I'll do a T, nah, I think this is good. And then I'll right click. Ooh, my computer's glitching. Right click, extrude, scale up. T click drag. Okay, so we have this. I'm gonna middle mouse button click, click. Look at what we got now. We got ourselves a bottle. All right. Kind of cool, not really, maybe. All right, don't say nothing. It's all right. It's inspired. It's, it's inspiring. No, no, it, it's fire. Like, Oh, it's, it's fire. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's inspiring. I was about to say, damn, it's inspiring. Okay. Oh, but we're not done yet, right? We got to get that bottom part. So, when I'm going to go over here, click on this, eh, rectangle. Get the whole bottom, right? Now I'm going to go back now. And now I'm going to have to do something I call BSing to get this other part. So, we're going to have to look at it, or we're going to have to look at the reference and kind of come up with this ourselves. Right, so I'm gonna right click, extrude, click down, bring it in, cool. I'm gonna press right click, eh, right click. Ooh, no, that turned me into a different tool. I don't know if it's a recording, but sometimes buttons are hard to press. Uh, right click, uh, extrude to get down here. I'm press T to scale. Now it's like right in there. Now I'm gonna do it again. Right click and go to extrude and drag it down. Press nine and now I'm done. So now look, look, we added that bottom part. You know what, just because I want to be cool, I'm going to like use T and I'm just going to taper this in just a touch. That's just for me. Wow. I like it. All right. So another thing to note is this, right? If we go back into this mode, let's say one of these is off or it's weird or something like that. How do we fix it? Well, 
two different ways. We can click right here on points and we can just grab, I mean, let me grab it with rectangle selection, grab the row of points that we didn't like or we wanna alter and we can change them. So just to see that change in progress, I mean, in progress, yeah, in progress, see? Now, if I was to press R, I mean, not RT to scale. So I just pressed, I chose the whole row and then I pressed uh, scale. So now I can scale it in or scale it out, right? So I can go to E up and down, T, scale it in, scale it out. Now, you know, it would be ridiculous if I pressed R and rotated it. Oh, look at that. See? So don't be a weirdo and press R. Mm -mm. And if you do, if you do press R and you want to uh, not be in that situation, you would have to delete this whole row of edges. So if this got really wonky and weird, and how would you do that, right? You click on this, tap, tap. Oh, we got the whole ring for some reason that time. Don't know why. Uh, but we just click on that. And I think you right click. Uh... Oh, man, that's my Maya mind. Um, I think you can just delete it in this program delete oh it just doesn't leave see on my you would delete that and it would leave it would still have everything connected it would just be that edge deletes with this hmm dissolve maybe ah all right see look i just did that and learned something for myself because i kind of thought i was right and i was right so if you just click on the edge and you press delete, it'll delete everything connected to the edge, those polygon faces and everything else. But if you right click on the edge and you click on dissolve, it'll delete the edge, but leave the rest of the geometry. So you see what happened? It didn't like give me the gap. It um, just deleted that edge nice and clean. So right here, it would do the same thing. If I press delete, it'll delete this and this, which is what we don't want. We want to just dissolve this edge. And now it's, you know, like that. So that is the way to alter the, the alter the geometry, you know, like this. And now let's just say this, Do you see this little round part. Now this is just uh, like the detailing part of um, 3D. Um, Cause I guess when you just do art in general, at least in my opinion, the details are what matters, you know, like the very, very small things that are almost invisible. So there's like a little bit of roundness you can't really see because you see the transition. It's like really just this edge right here. But, it's, you know, it's a little bit round. So what if I wanted to be round? I can toss another edge in there. And to do that, I'll right click. Loop path cut. Click on this. Now I'm right here. And wow. Right. I just did that clicked on it, press nine. Now I got a whole new edge. I'm double clicking on this edge. See, I worked before with those other ones. Oh, wait, wait, press nine. With that one, these is not working. But it's okay. Because all we have to do is type in the words U and L. And that is this, if we go to select we have ring selection, right? I mean, loop selection and ring selection. So if we do UL, we'll get that ring. So this is called a ring because it wraps around like a ring. So like I said, we dap on this, nothing, UL. Now I have the selection and you see it's getting this row of stuff or the ring. All right, so if I click on this now, now I have the ring. I'll middle mouse button click, go back into this view. I'll press nine to quit that ring selection tool. Now if I press T to scale and I can just click and drag, now I'm getting that, you know, extra thing. Now that's not like a, uh, it's hard to see a little bit. 
So we went from like this point to this point, and then we added this one in. So it's like a little bit of roundness. Now this isn't required, but I just thought about it. Check this out. Let's say I want to get it even more round, right? I can right click, go bevel, click and drag. What? Now I have even more roundness. Is, is that the cut feature? What did I just did right there? Yes. When I added the extra uh, edges like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. So if I want to, wait, let me press nine. For this right here, let me do this again. I'll press UL to get this, to, to get this loop. I'll select it. I'll right click and dissolve because that's how you delete edges. Yeah, yeah. So I was Maya, when you go to right click, delete edge, that's basically uh, what dissolve is. So um, all for those of y'all don't know delete edge in my other class, <laughs> you're gonna learn that today. So same thing, but in my, um, okay. So to make another edge here, you would right click. Oh, look, I'm still in another tool. As you can see this, I'll press nine to quit it. Uh, I'll right click and I'll go to do, 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 loop path cut. So loop path cut is like the edge loop tool or the knife tool. So this is how we're gonna get the uh, extra edges in here. So I can click, I get that, I got that, I get that, right? So I made that one right there, um, nine to quit. What I did before was the bevel, right? So still, I can't get the whole thing, UL. Oh, wait, UL, okay, click on it. So now I have this. Now what I did was a bevel. So I'm, a, I'm already in this you know, like UL tool, but it's okay because I just right click, I go to bevel and it changes me to this bevel tool. Now bevel, I just I uh, click and drag and it's giving me these divisions right here. Now the offset, I can use these right here to scale. I mean, I can use the slider or I can use these arrows where I can click on the little arrow, the top one or the bottom one, uh, depth. I'm not seeing any thing with that. You see offset. Oh, this this will change it. It's this round right here. User. I mean, you don't want to mess with this. I mean, you can, I guess, but you just keep it on round. So what that is basically is this. It's like um, if I make a cube. And I'll make another one. Ooh. Oh, it's alt. And I'll make this one. I'll press C to make it editable. I'll choose this face. Click on it. Right click. No. Come on. Give me that face. Come on. Give me that face, Cinema. What is happening? Everything's locked. Something's happening with my. Ooh, well, my thing's acting up. Starting to feel a little crazy. What the hell is happening? Um, I'll press nine to quit. S. Face. Huh. Did I press something? Let me do this. Uh. I have no idea what happened there. Um, let me try this again. 
So what that is, that bevel, go to cube. Oh, make editable, choose faces. And now it's working, I don't know what that was. Right click, right click, extrude. Now click on this face, extrude. All right, so we have this shape right here. And then let's give me a box, a regular box, right? So all I was doing is this, N, B. When I was doing that bevel, all bevel does is it doubles up on the edges. So I think both of these are in C mode. So if I choose both, let me see. They should both be, right? So I right click on both of them. I'm gonna right click and do bevel. Click and drag. So on that bottle, when I did bevel, it takes one edge and then it puts one beside it and it doubles it. So that's what happened with this box. But when you bevel, you want it to always be two or more. Well, I guess it's, mm, no, I'll just make that the rule for everything. Two or more in Maya and in uh, cinema. In Maya, it's called segments. In cinema, it's called subdivisions. So that's all it's doing. It's like doubling up on that edge to make it, um, to make it round. So that's regular, which is horrible. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be right there. And then we have even more roundness. Now if I press nine and click off of it, and yeah, now we can see the shape. If I press NA, I mean type in NA, and click on this, you see the difference between this and this versus this? You know, really, this is video game, this is a movie. Or like, let's say uh, Moana or one of those like 3D uh, movies like that. So the roundness. Okay, but that's how you would do it uh, with that video. I mean, that's how you would make that bottle. So just to reiterate, yeah, to recap real quick, needs to be in the front view, options, configure, back, three dots mean go to file, click on your object, bring it in. If it's too bright, transparency, drag it down. If you want to raise it, go to offset Y. If you want to move it, go this way, go that way, right? Oh, that's not a bottle, that's a box. Say so I have my bottle here. I model it. Yay, I did it all, right? It's a it's a henny bottle. Hen. So we have hen, right? That's the henny, right? because you gotta make six of these. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just move that one to the side. And then you're gonna go back here. You're gonna make another one whoop, with a different bottle. Now you wanna do it with cylindrical bottles. You don't wanna be doing it with those flat, like, you know, kinda uh, flask looking bottles. I don't know what they're called. I don't, you know what I'm talking about? For those of y'all who do drink, there's like a, there's usually round bottles and then there's like these flat bottles. You usually don't see them if like, you know, you're drinking regular things like a water bottle is usually like cylindrical and um, soda cans, anything out of like a grocery store or corner store. But then when you get to those alcohol bottles, there's like some flat ones. I don't, don't, I mean, you can go ahead and attempt it, and it's always good to attempt stuff, but I wouldn't suggest doing a flat bottle. Um, yeah, so that's the assignment. It'll be do six of these. Are there any questions or anything I need to, con uh, you know, clear up? 
Yeah, can you say the due date again? My audio cut out. Oh, next class. So let's just do it on mon Monday. But six of these. Okay. And then after that, we'll go into the, uh, you know, you can, of course, do more. No problem at all. If you want to go extra above and beyond, make a table. You know what I'm saying? And put them on the table. But six of these. And I'll be uh, recording this and putting this on the... Um, on my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's funny saying that. Oh, I'm getting some views. No likes though. Hey, Professor Page. Um, I saw that you were able to like uh, make that, make that rectangle, <clears throat> make that rectangle like uh stick out, stick out a piece, but it's like you didn't. It didn't bend the face at all, but it was like another extension. Oh, this is all I did right here. I chose my cube. I pressed C to make it editable. I clicked on the face. Click on the face. Right click. Extrude. Click and drag. Mm. Now, when I wanted to extrude another face, I just clicked on it one time. Oh, wait, wait. Click on it one time to get the face. And then I click and drag. Now, let's say I wanted to extrude these faces. I would uh, press 9 for my selection set. Click on this one. Click on this one. Right click. Extrude. Click and drag. Click and drag. And you see, the more times I click and drag, it gives me another extrusion. But if I just go to offset and I continue, I can just keep it, you know, without making the seg seg ah, the segments in between. But if I wanted to make this one segments in between, I could just drag it out and then I can go to the subdivision and add them in. Does that help? Yes, that helped a lot. Thank you. Cool. All right, we got less than a minute. Let me know. Y'all got any questions? No?